Hello and welcome to this video series on HTML for beginners. In this video we're going to be talking about meta tags or meta elements as some people would call them. Now we're not going to be spending a whole lot of time with meta tags because well they just ain't what they used to be. The meta tags are located between the opening head and closing head tags. If you remember uh, from our previous videos the head tags are located kind of close to the top of our HTML page right above the body tag. Remember head, body, heads on top of the body? Anyway, uh, they provide structured details about the web page to the search engine robots that stop by for your web page from time to time. And the details are eh, things like uh, a description of the website, uh, certain keywords related to the website. Uh, these items, well, they help the search engines categorize your web pages. Other items the meta tags can do for you, uh, well, is to tell the search engine bots not to index this page so it will not appear in the search results. And if you think about it for a little bit, you can probably come up with a few pages you've got that you don't want to popping up on the search results. You know, this download page. Anyway, uh, if you're using a robots.txt file to block indexing, then you don't need to use the robots no index meta tag. Just a little in insight for you. Now another item might be to tell the bots just how often you update your web page and that way they'll know when to come back to check for those updates, you know, to kind of re-index your, your web page. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the meta tags and see what I've been talking about. Now I went ahead and added some of these meta tags and kind of went overboard too, just for example's sake, uh, to the um, first web page that we created in our prior video and went ahead and opened up a web page in the Firefox browser and if you recall we did uh, the page source by going to view click on that and then come on down here and left click on the page source of course that's the uh, keyboard shortcut to get to the same thing that's hold your control button down and hit the letter U on your keyboard anyway here we go now then, let's go ahead and move this guy up here in the view. As you can see, I've added a whole bunch of these meta tags here, and there's really only a couple of these that are really worth anything, and not even a whole lot, but the rest of them really aren't worth a whole lot nowadays. So if you do a page source or a view source on uh, a majority of the web pages on the internet nowadays, you're probably not going to see a whole lot of these meta tags at all. A lot of the meta tags, for example, beyond the uh, equiv, the HTTP equiv, the description, and the keywords, these three are fairly important insofar as meta tags are concerned. But the rest of these, they do have some bearing, but not a lot. Uh, now, uh, some search engines outside of the majors, you know, the Google, the Yahoo, the MSNs, uh, there's a lot of other ones, a gazillion actually, that do rely um, a little bit on these meta tags. So, again, it's not that important, but if you got them in there, they're not going to hurt anything. I don't think so. So, uh, as far as SEO or search engine optimization, having these meta tags on your page will not hurt anything. They just may not be to the advantage that you're looking for. Yeah, that sounds about right. But anyway, a couple of things we want to make sure we've got is this first one here. And you want to try to put this in order. From what I understand, a search engine robot is basically the same as our eyes. It goes from top to bottom. So the more important items you want to have close to the top here. So if you're going to, like me, have a bunch of these <laughs> meta tags in here, and you don't want to put your important ones like the description and the keywords and the content type at the bottom of your meta tag list. It's not going to do you much good. The search robots aren't going to see these first and foremost. Anyway, stick them at the top. Uh, the content type, this just tells the browser of your visitor, whether it's Safari, Opera, Internet Explorer, Netscape, whatever, just tells them what type the content is text or HTML in this case and this char set this is if I understand things correctly tells the browser how to display it now in the meta description the meta name description this tells the browser a little bit about the website uh, or in this case a web page and you know basically just type it out don't have to worry about any kind of geek speak just type it out there and it has to have these quotation double quotes at the beginning double quotes at the end 
and again just like the other tags you've got up here you got the angle bracket opening angle bracket closing now there's no closing tags here for example you don't have the forward slash like this guy here okay this is one of those instances where you've got the tag that doesn't have the yang or the ying or the good with the bad uh, so we've got the content type here the description another purpose behind the description tag is whenever your page shows up in let's say a Google search engine for example well this is where it's going to show up at let me go ahead and pull this down for a second right here this is just a typical Google search for widgets but this is where that description is going to play in your favor now not all of this is the description because some sites uh, Google I believe is one of them will only take a portion of what you have for your description and put the dot 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 and then get the rest of this from the actual body of your web page okay so keep that in mind too that the description uh, does have its importance and you don't want to get over wordy here but you want to keep it in you know relative uh, you want to keep it relative to the content of that web page and another thing too on the uh, keywords you want to use uh, in your description you want to use words from your keyword list vice versa you want to have these to be close to the, the same uh, you don't want to just type this out because on your keywords you want to have commas in between them and this is a phrase you can have keywords or phrases I tend to choose the phrases um, but you want to also consider having misspellings in here because the keywords are what the search engines will go by that people type into the the uh, search engine you know what the, what are they looking for so you know a, a couple of things to keep in mind there this video is not on search engine optimization so I'm not gonna go into great detail just the importance of keywords and description uh, that's the main thing I wanted to go over with you. Now, a lot of these other meta tags, as I've mentioned, they have their place in the world, but it's not as important as it used to be back in the day. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned something as well. So, have a great day and thanks for watching.